Hi everyone and welcome to Icon UK. What I like to do is I like to conceal and highlight my face at the same time. So for that I'm going to be using the Maybelline Eye Eraser Concealer and this is in the shade Light. So what I like to do with this is I like to draw triangles underneath both of my eyes. So I'm going to do that first. You want to take the concealer down the side of your nose and then when you get to your nostrils you want to drag that up into your hairline and then you want to kind of fill all of that in. And then the same thing on the other eye. Drag it down and up and then fill it in. I'm going to add a little bit onto my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin and around my mouth because I do have a little bit of pigmentation there. Now we're going to go back in with the Beauty Blender and we're going to go and blend everything out using the pointy end. So you just want to start dabbing all of the product in. You don't want to move the product around because that's just going to move your concealer and highlighter all away. If you get a glitter nail polish, you can so easily cover up any chipped nails, maybe they're chipped around the top, chipped around the bottom, you haven't got time to redo your nails. So grab a glitter polish and I'm going to show you on Layla who has the most amazing nails by the way. So Layla's nails have grown out just a little bit, I'm sure she won't mind done. me saying. <laughs> no, I did get them done. <laughs> so what we're going to do is use this amazing Maybelline polish. If it's the bottom that's a little bit chipped, just paint from the bottom upwards with your glitter to make kind of a soft gradient. Of course, if the top is chipped, you can do that on the top as well. Uh, but that's just going to cover up any growth uh, that you might have from your nail polish, just kind of getting a little bit old, maybe. <laughs> and, uh, and Yeah, and I actually think that that's like a nice little bit of nail art, really. I think people are going to be like, oh my god, your nails are so nice. I know, it's true. And you'll be like, Oh, they yeah. were definitely meant to be it's like true. this. <laughs> just pick an, uh, a glitter that matches the actual nail polish mm -hmm. or something that clashes even. If you yeah, like be, a cool clash. Yeah, yeah a cool yeah, clash. Cool. And I just feel like, I don't know, it's a nice nail art What do you well. think? Do you like it? I like it. I'm going to be using the Body Shop Skinny Thin Felt Eyeliner. So we're going to draw the wing first. So once you've got the lower part of the wing, we're going to drag that back. and blend it in with our lash line. This is a really good and easy way to cheat a winged eyeliner look. So we've done the winged eye on this eye and we're going to do the same thing on the other eye. We're going to map out the lower part of the wing first and then drag it into the lash line. So right at the end I like to make sure that both of my eyes are looking as similar as possible. So just fixing up any areas, just to make them look the same. Those of you who are like me and you'll often get your mascara all over your under eye area while applying it to your lower lashes, a great trick is to whip out a spoon from the kitchen and this is just such a nice little thing because what you do is hold it under here as you're applying your mascara. So for this I'm going to use Miss Manga Punky Mascara. And there you can see that it's all going to be on the spoon rather than all over my face. I actually have a little bit of a makeup technique hack and it's actually when wanting to build a fuller coverage with your foundation. If you're going to be using lots of up and down motions, it's going to be spreading the product kind of around your face and it's going to make it look sheerer. If you want to build a fuller coverage without actually having to go out and buy a fuller coverage foundation, what you can do is just take another little bit of that foundation and pat it onto your skin. For example, you've applied your first layer and then you want to start kind of patting on more product and that would just very gradually build up a little bit of extra coverage without actually having to change the foundation. That's cool, I wouldn't think of doing that. So it really yeah. works. Yeah. I do it all the time as well. Really? So it's good along those areas where you need just a Maybe little bit more. Maybe if you've got blemishes where you 
sort of pull the foundation. <laughs> I do that yeah. all the time, so yeah. it's a good little That's hack cool. good for your tip. makeup routine. Yeah, love it. Well, if you enjoyed this video, do leave us a comment down below letting us know what your favourite beauty hack is. Maybe you can teach us some more hacks uh, to add to our knowledge already. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Icon UK channel as well as giving us a thumbs up because everybody loves a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. So take care, guys. Bye. Bye.